Honestly, this deck is like trying to run a circus. Every game seems to just devolve into a clown fiesta. Every match will start with a big boom, but after that comes the fallout, where both players are just scrambling desperately for something to hit the opponent with, and your primary weapon of choice is a carrot. On top of that, you'll have access to a pretty extensive arsenal of an extra deck, and just in case your deck isn't enough, just steal some shit from your opponent and use that instead. So obviously this deck is built entirely around Black Rose Dragon, which is a level 7 synchro monster that requires one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters to summon. Now this card has two effects. The first, when this card is synchro summoned, you can destroy all cards on the field. The second, well we don't really care about it, as we just want to watch things go boom. So how do we summon this rather angry flower? First of all, I'll talk about the skill. The skill is what grows in the graveyard, which I'm sure by now you all know what it does, but for those who don't, it puts Dark Verger in your graveyard at the start of the duel, which is a plant type level 2 monster that special summons itself whenever you normal summon a plant. To go with the skill, we have our three main monsters you'll be using to summon Black Rose. The two air Rose Whip is a level 3 plant tuner monster with an effect we don't really care about. Spore is a level 1 plant tuner monster with the effect. If he is in your graveyard, you can banish one other plant monster from the graveyard to special summon Spore, and increase its level by the level of the monster you banished. Then we have White Rose Dragon, which is a level 4 monster with only two noteworthy effects. One, it can special summon itself from your hand if you control a plant tuner. And two, when it is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material, you can send one level 4 or higher plant monster to the graveyard from your deck. This will basically always be Carrot, which I'll talk about in a bit. So this is where all the combos start to emerge, and you see where this deck starts to become a little absurd. For example, if you summon Spore, you can then choose to summon Verger from the grave, and White Rose from the hand, which gives you an instant Black Rose which nukes the board, whilst also providing a Carrot, a Spore, and a Plant in the graveyard to follow up with random plays during the aftermath. A more simple combo is obviously just to summon White Rose when you have Naturia on the board, for an instant Black Rose nuke. Now I'll talk about the other two main support monsters of the deck. Carrot is a level 4 monster that simply special summons itself from the graveyard by discarding one plant type monster from your hand or field to the graveyard. This may seem like a pretty weak effect, but when you run cards like Spore and Rose Lover, you will see that discarding cards is quite often beneficial. Plus this card is a level 4, so it can make for a pretty nice turn 1 set, so you can use it to help summon Black Rose in place of White Rose the following turn even if it is killed. Rose Lover is a plant type monster that can be banished from your graveyard to special summon one plant type monster from your hand. It's kinda hard to justify this card on its own until you have watched some of the gameplay, as unlike most of the times you would have seen this card, it isn't really used to summon a boss monster. It's basically just an extra summon for the turn, which is actually very useful when it comes to synchro summoning, and also having extra resources for after you've used Black Rose to nuke the board. And this brings us to the final three cards in the deck. Necrofluor is a level 1 plant monster that when destroyed by a card effect will summon a baguette from your deck. Which basically means if you're able to summon this card before Black Rose's nuke, you're going to be much better off afterwards. The baguette is a 2900 attack boss monster who on summon allows you to steal one card from your opponent's graveyard until the end phase. Keep in mind that that monster you steal cannot attack your opponent directly. The final card in the deck is Super Solar Nutrient which is a continuous spell that basically allows you to tribute your level 2 or lower plant monsters and exchange them for any of the other plant monsters in your deck. So you will see the use in this card when you watch the gameplay, but basically it makes synchro summoning a lot easier as it can kind of fix your bad hands, and also give you nice combos, such as when you get to summon Rose Whip and Verger, then use White Rose to go into black, if you slip this card in between, you can exchange the useless Verger for a Necrofluor, meaning a nice bounce monster will pop out after the Black Rose's effect. Alright guys, I'm not going to go through the extra deck, as the extra deck is basically only preference. I do recommend running a ridiculous amount of extra deck cards though, and all cards that you can go into easily, as it's a lot more fun when you just have a lot of options to go through. Alright guys, that's basically it for the toying part of this video. The rest of this video will just be 7 gameplays showing this deck list in action. If you want to see more gameplays for the deck, I will be doing a live stream of this deck at some point, probably tomorrow, so do watch out for the VOD for that, or the stream. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, comment if you have any questions or feedback, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Also, join my Discord.
Hey, big brother, can I watch SpongeBob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.